Okay, in the first slot we have three teams on stage from Belgium, the Netherlands and Finland. Also drei Teams aus drei Ländern treten im ersten Block auf und den Anfang machen Technopolis aus Belgien mit 3, 2, 1, Fire. Und das da, das ist Oliver. Oliver, müsst ihr euch vorstellen, ist acht Jahre alt. Ihr habt, glaube ich, Vorstellungsvermögen, ne? Gut. Oliver ist acht Jahre alt und der hat einen ganz großen Traum. Oliver! Oliver! I'm home! Are you in bed yet? Oh, my boy. Such a good boy. Sleep tight, my boy. Mommy won't come back anymore. <laughs> Houston, keep an eye on the door. This is top secret. And you are my first officer, okay? Yeah. All right. Yes, let's continue our mission. <laughs> Oliver, as you can see in a fire triangle, we need to find three items to complete it. Okay. You know, heat we can already produce with these matches. You can already check heat off our list. That's perfect. Well done. Okay. Right. Now, we have to move on to fuel. Hmm, let me think. Ah, oh, I have an idea. Do you have anything yummy in your room? Yummy? Yes, yummy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> because, you know, we people on Earth, we need food in order to stay alive. We burn calories all the time. So, perhaps we could use calories for the rocket. <laughs> what did you find? You got candy, right? Yes. Oh, the gummy bears, they're full and really high on calories. So, um, I remember a powder called potassium chloride. Do you have that by any chance? Of course. Really? Yes, of course. In your, in your cabinet, you have everything. Okay. Well, now, you have to put a big scoop of potassium chloride into yep. the test tube, okay? okay? Yes, you know, as a teddy bear, when I was a bit younger, I used to experiment quite a lot, so this one is really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you also need to take your Bunsen burner. Oh. <laughs> Bunsen burners are totally cool. <laughs> yes, fire gets out of it, you know. It's really cool. So, Bunsen burner. With this Bunsen burner, you need to heat up the potassium chloride. Okay, so you have to make it really, really, really hot. Yes, excellent. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, by the time the potassium chloride reaches a temperature of 356 degrees Celsius, it will melt. And when it reaches a temperature of about 400 degrees Celsius, it decomposes into potassium chloride and oxygen. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, really, it's true. And you know, there is a lot of sugar in candy. It contains a lot of calories, which means that when we burn sugar, it will release a lot of energy. Right. So, did it melt already? I think it's cool. Okay, so now, when you put one gummy bear in... Okay, we three, how much. Two, two, one, one five! Fire! <laughs> Whoa, look at this, ladies and gentlemen! Right. Wow, there is a lot of energy in one candy. That's cool. But to launch a rocket, we need a lot of gummy bears. So let's pour in the whole bunch. Uh, Houston? Yeah? We have a problem. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Did you really eat all the candy? Sorry. Oh, so we need to find something else that will burn, eh? With a lot of energy. 
What can we use? I love you, Houston. Uh, Oliver. <coughs> what are you doing? No, 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 it's really hot. Oliver, don't you dare. Oh, okay. I am your best friend. No, Sorry, no. Houston. Oh, okay, well, this will not work. But you know, you cannot use me, but you can always try someone else. Someone else? And as you can see, quite a lot of people. <laughs> yes, you, pick one. With the glass. <laughs> yes, please come up. Give him a big round of applause, please. <laughs> Wonderful. Are you left or right-handed? Right-handed, you Okay, so please, put your left hand. <laughs> We're going to use that one. For um, this experiment. Under the table, you see a big bucket with water. Under the table. Yes. Please, rinse your hand and your underarm completely. Cover it with water. Yes, but also your underarm. Make all the underarm hair wet. More, more, more. more. Yes, more. Yes. Water arm. Okay, Good. and as you can see, um, Oliver is now using methane gas, and we know that methane gas is extremely flammable. So he is building a big pile of methane bubbles. All right. Now, Mister, what is your name? What's your name? Jacob, okay. Okay, so now, take, put on the glasses. Yes, nice Very one, nice. Oliver. <laughs> and then take a big scoop with your right hand of bubbles. The bigger the better. Okay. We believe that now you are holding a big pile of flammable bubbles and there's only one way to find out if that's true okay people can you come down with me please okay let's go three two one fire all right thanks a lot We can use methane. Okay, that's perfect. It's 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 fuel, you know. So you can check off that off our list. Fuel we have. Ding ding. Okay. Last one. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oxygen. Well, Oliver, you can go back now to your um, liquid oxygen condensator. Okay. Yeah. You were working on that before we went to sleep. Oh yeah. Yes. Okay. Because. Oliver has a secret stash of liquid nitrogen in his room. And <laughs> liquid nitrogen has a temperature of minus 196 degrees Celsius. Well, um, we filled up our tin can with liquid nitrogen. Okay, well, the air around us um, contains a lot of oxygen, and that oxygen turns into a liquid at a temperature of minus 183 degrees Celsius. So at this moment, the oxygen surrounding us turns into really tiny drops of liquid oxygen. Those tiny drops are falling into an Erlenmeyer flask, all right? Well, we have to cool down this flask, otherwise those little tiny droplets would evaporate instantly. And that is why we have to fill the lowest container with liquid nitrogen as well, to keep it really cool. You can compare it to your bathroom mirror, because what happens to your cold bathroom mirror when you take a really hot shower? Well, then, uh, the little drops on the mirror, yeah? Yes, you can see really tiny drops of water on your mirror. The exact same thing happens here. But the tiny drops on top of the can are not water, but liquid oxygen. So the can is really a really cold mirror, if you compare it uh, with the bathroom, and the drops are liquid oxygen. Well, I see some people, they don't really believe us, Oliver. That's a problem, yes. So we can put it to the test. All we have to do is dropping a burning match inside the Erlenmeyer flask. And we believe that the oxygen is much more concentrated at this moment, so we could easily take it with us into space. It would not take so much room on our rocket, so that is perfect. And um, the good thing is, 
we can use it in space and we can okay. fire, we can launch more rockets to other planets for example <laughs> are you ready okay yes um, we are ready ladies and gentlemen can you come down again with us wait wait for it <laughs> three two, two. One. One. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> Exciting. Three, Three. two, one. <laughs> oh, this is really exciting. <laughs> Oliver. Okay, one more time. Three. Two, two one, one go. Fire! Yes, 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 feed it. Excellent! Look at this, ladies and gentlemen, liquid oxygen! Woo! All right! Wow! All right, all right. Okay, oxygen check. So we have all ingredients to, um, to launch rockets. All we have to do now is to mix the methane gas with the oxygen into the rocket. If you mix one third of methane gas with two thirds of oxygen, we will have an explosive gas mixture. Let's try and hop on to the rocket. Okay. Off we go, Oliver. <laughs> yes, let's go. Oh. Man, I think we ate too much. Oh, again. wait. <laughs> okay, uh, what are you doing? The Shriekenizer. Oliver! No! <laughs> no, 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 we just built it. We never even put it to the test. No, 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 Oliver, we cannot. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm getting smaller. Oh, no, this is bad news. <laughs> Applaus auf. Cut. 